Hey, what's up, Barry? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the latest iOS 10 beta on your device without a computer. Now, in this video, I'm also going to be showing you how to downgrade back to the latest firmware if you want to get out of the beta. So, with all that being said, if you guys are excited to learn how to get in or out of the iOS 10 beta, then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. But now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. All right, before this video begins, I would like to mention that iOS 10 breaks the date trick. So if you enjoy using your emulators like GBA for iOS, I would not recommend updating. Nevertheless, if you still want to update, it's very easy to do so. All you have to do is copy the link in the description below and paste it into Safari, and then it'll automatically open a profile in your settings that you can install by clicking install at the top right hand corner. Once you do that, if you have a password, you'll have to enter it and then hit install one last time. Once you install this beta into your iOS device, it'll ask you to restart. So go ahead and restart your device and when it's back, you can go ahead and unlock your device. You'll still be on the regular firmware that you were on before. But to update to iOS 10, now when you go into your settings, general and software update, you'll see that iOS 10 and the latest beta is now available for download and installation. So once again, go ahead and enter your password if you have one, hit install, agree to the terms and conditions, and the latest beta will begin to install. Now, these betas do take quite some time to download and install depending on your internet, so be patient as it goes on to do that. Of course, I've sped it up for the sake of the video, but once it is done, it'll verify the update and restart your device. And once it's restarted, you'll be on the latest iOS 10 beta. And if you ever want to update to the next beta, it will be in your settings general software update. And if you ever want to downgrade, then I'll be showing you how to do that now. However, it does require a computer. So with that being said, let's jump into our computer. Once you're on your computer, go ahead and plug in your iOS device and make sure you have iTunes installed. Once you've done that, open Safari and paste in the URL the link that I have in the description below for the iOS 9.3.3 ISPWs. This website has all the iOS 9.3.3 ISPWs that you will need to download in order to get 9.3.3 on your iOS device. And as long as there's a green check mark, that means that it's still working for your device. Nevertheless, to find out which device you have, go to iTunes and click where I'm clicking until you get to the model identifier. Make note of the model identifier and then look on the left for your model identifier, which is under the name of your device. So I have an iPhone 6, which is model identifiers iPhone 7 2. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the ISPW here and begin to download the file. Now these ISPW files are fairly big and will take some time to download depending on your internet speed. So be patient with that and once it's done, you will be able to restore your iOS device back to iOS 9.3.3, but make sure you have at least five gigabytes available on your iOS device or else it will not work. Nevertheless, once the ISPW is done installing, go ahead and click shift restore iPhone if you're on Windows or option restore iPhone if you're on Mac and then find your ISPW that you just downloaded click it and then hit restore and your iOS device will begin to restore. Of course, this as well will take some time, so be patient with it. I, of course, sped it up for the sake of the video. And once it's done, it'll ask you if you'd like to set it up as a new iPhone or restore from backup. The choice is yours. But once you've done that, your iOS device will now be on iOS 9.3.3, the latest firmware that is available before iOS 10. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously. And I truly appreciate it. As well as if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, I highly recommend you do so to be notified whenever I upload a video because I upload awesome tutorials like this one every week. 
Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.